Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. In this video I am going to show you how you can fake a long exposure photography in Photoshop. So this is our end result and this was the picture I started with. So this is the, our starting point picture and this is the resulting effect of what I did in Photoshop. So let me show you how I did it. So I am going to delete all these layers this group of special effects and this this is going to be my starting point now I will be providing the link for this image in the description if you want to download it and practice along you can do so the first thing I am going to do is make two copies of this background background layer so by pressing ctrl J and again pressing ctrl J I made two copies of this layer I'm going to name the first layer as skies and I'm going to name the second layer as Thames because Thames River is the river that is going through London. Now what I'm going to do is uh, take my clone stamp tool and clone stamp some clouds from the sky over these buildings over here so S for the clone stamp and I'm going to hold down on alt choose this area and start painting over big vein then again choose But if it is looking horrible, we will be blurring all these areas out, so it does not really matter how bad it looks at the moment. All that is needed is that this all this area should be covered with the skies and the clouds. Okay, I think that's enough. So next what I'm going to do is go into the filters and into the blur and then I'm going to choose radial blur I'm going to choose zoom as the blur method and the quality is going to be best obviously and the blur center should be 3 fourth way down into the image I mean it should be into the 3 fourth bottom portion of the image and then I'm going to click on ok Next what I am going to do is turn off the visibility of the skies layer and select the Thames layer. In this layer what I am going to do is I am going to select and cut out the skies and cloud from this image. So in this video since I don't want to make it an hour long video I am going to use the quick selection tool but if you are doing that for a client or anyone. Or even if you are doing it as a hobby, I suggest you use a more precise selection method. The quick selection marks tool works decent enough but it is not perfect. And so now holding down on all time in tool deselect some areas which the quick selection mask decided to select as the saying goes that if you want to do something correctly you really need to do it yourself now 
there is one plugin I would highly recommend using is that uh, Topaz Labs Remask that is a really good software and plugins for Photoshop actually so if you can buy it I'm, I'm going to say that it is it will be worth it every penny you spend on it then I'm going to go into Refine Edge and I'm going to select smart reviews of something around say for say 3 pixels and our feathering would be around 0.5 pixels I'm going to select as decontaminate colors amount would be something around 50 to 60 and it is very important to select that output to it should be new layer with layer mask so in refine edge anything which is black gets cut out from the image so I need to include this top portion of the big wing and also all the small work on this and the layer mask anyways I'm going to hit ok and then what I'm going to do is go into the layer mask and invert it so control and I and it is inverted so as you can see in this portion of the sky and the cloud it has been cut out from the image now what I need to do is zoom in and perfect out a few things like this portion over here so I'm going to go into the layer mask and choose white as my foreground color take the brush tool and start painting over here Actually with this type of photographs is that the more effort you put into your selections the more better your image is going to look. to press ctrl and 0 to zoom out of it and next I'm going to turn on the visibility of the fence layer and turn down the visibility of the fence copy actually let's rename the fence layer copy as Westminster's because that is the Westminster's building anyways back to the fence layer what I'm going to do is apply a blur filter so that this water becomes silky smooth water as we see in the long exposure shots so again go to blur and this time go to motion blur now it is very important that you keep the angle as zero because everywhere in the on the planet including London the water flows horizontally so this angle needs to be zero otherwise Whole, the whole photograph is going to get ruined and so the angle is 0 and in 
case of distance it should be something around between 500 to 600 pixels so I'm going to put in a value of say 575 and then I'm going to hit OK now what I'm going to do is add a layer mask to this image so what I'm going to do is hold down on Alt and click on the layer mask image icon next what I'm going to do is turn on the visibility of the skies layer and the Westminster's layer and then what I'm going to do is rearrange the layers over here so the thins layer goes on the topmost layer and the sky layer comes underneath the first minister's layer so already as you can see that we have motion in the clouds now for the motion in the water what I have to do is go into the layer mask of the thins layer take my brush the hardness of around 32 percent and opacity and flow at 100 percent and with the foreground color as white i'm going to start painting in the themes layer onto this image Now I need to zoom in and do some fine tuning to the image. So control and plus. And then I'm going to reduce the size of my brush and work on these holes in the water. Changing my foreground color to black. I'm going to paint in some of these holes. If you're doing this sort of work for your client, you need to be more careful about it because I'm leaving some of the portions. I'm not being very precise over here because again, I don't want this video to be a hour-long video. But if you're doing for your client, you should take your time. Okay, now what I'm going to do is create a stamp visible layer of this image. So by pressing on Control Shift Alt and E, again it is Control Shift Alt and E. I have created a stamp visible layer to this. Next, what I'm going to do is add a black and white adjustment layer. And as a preset, I'm going to choose darker. Now you may play with around with these sliders so that you can get your image to your liking. So 
basically this is okay for me or maybe I want to add a bit of a tint and maybe a bit of a vignetting to this image but at this point I'm happy with this image so this is how you turn a regular image a one shot image into a long exposure image by clicking a LD filter in Photoshop anyways I hope this video was useful to you if you found this video to be useful please give it a like and if you want to watch more videos like this in future consider subscribing to my channel I try to upload videos almost every day anyways thanks for watching have a great day take care